These are skunk cleaner shrimp zoeae, about an hour and a half old. You can see them, they're the yellow dots with the occasional legs and tail that you can see kind of whirling around, mostly swimming backwards in there. And they're being held in a 3D printed chrysal tank that I've got kind of strapped to the wall of a three and a half gallon tank that I use for raising fry. Uh, in the back of the chrysal, there's some 250 micrometer mesh, and then over on the left side, you can't really see it, but you can see some bubbles. There's an air-driven pump providing the circulation flow. Uh, along with the zoea in there, I've got some mostly apocyclops uh, copepods, the, the little smaller dots that are kind of buzzing around more actively. And then you can see the one snail that was put in there as sort of the cleanup clue since the chrysal has been in the tank for a few weeks and it was collecting debris. Uh, but they spawned this evening, or the, the skunk cleaner shrimp spawned this evening around 10.20 uh, for the first spawn released, and then the biggest burst of them at about 10.45 p.m. Uh, in low lights, but not with the moon lights off yet. And uh, the fish are awake, so quite a few of them got snagged on. <laughs> Uh, I caught the ones that I could using a, uh, a uh, larva catcher, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a commercially available one, um, then transferred them over into here. Uh, the chrysal doesn't seal perfectly around the edges of the tank, so a few have gotten out into the body of the tank and I used some mesh to seal it. Uh, and I've since added 400 milliliters of uh, live phytoplankton and then the copepods after it, because I have read that they need to eat in the first 24 hours. Uh, I had caught one spawn previously and didn't have any surviving to 48 hours because I was keeping them in a square breeder box net with a pump directed at it. Um, and already they seem to be much, much better at suspension. They're not impacting the sides. Uh, I have much higher hopes than 48 hours of their five month larval stage. But we'll see.